So, kā mēs te darīsimies? Ko? Varbūt? Sākumā es biju iecerējusi, ka mēs iesim visi kopā pa izstāžu zāli, hronoloģiskā secībā un iziesim cauri no 60. gadiem līdz pat 2014. gadam, bet mēs to nevaram izdarīt. Mums ir jāstāv šeit pa vidu un jāruna. Var apsēsties? Var, 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 redz, kur var apsēsties. Viens tikai tev ir krēsls. Vienīgais, jā. Pagaidi. Nu, un tad ko? Un tad es jau domāju, ka man prasīs daži jautājums, un es varbūt atbildēšu. Tā ar var. Mēs varam iesākt, un tad noteikti radīsies tie jautājumi. Ok, ok, ok. Labi, mēs varam iesākt. So, jums nav kur sēdēt ar... Nu... Mani tādi jocīgi māksli, es domāju, drusciņi, un varbūt, bet man vairs neliekat, man liekas, es jau īsti neskatos, kā tā māksla izskatās, bet tā ar nav pareizi. Es darīju tā, kā man likās pareizi, ne kā viņa izskatās bet lai gan tos darbus redzēt tikai ar acīm un ar prātu tur kopā padomā, bet man liekas pa priekš īsti ar acīm skatīties un tā kā skatīties tādu klusāku veidu bez bāršanos, tas nav, tas nav, tas nav, or arī Tas varētu būt, bet tas nav. Bet tā skatīties tikai, kas ir. Un tur kādreiz nav tik daudz. Es iesāku, es gribēju būt tādu abstraktu māksliniecu, bet es biju skolā 58., 59., 60. gadā es biju mākslas skolā. Un es vienmēr, es tā kā palaidu savu familiju drusciņu. Es nezināju nevienu latvietu, kas bija mākslas skolā. Es biju Indinapolē, un es iesāku to mākslas skolu, tāpēc, ka es vienmēr zīmēju, un tā man likās, ka tā ir man pasauli, Un es biju tāda, kā saka, very certain. Nu, noteikti. Jā, noteikti, es domāju, tā būs mana dzīve, bet es nesapratu, cik grūtā dzīve var būt. Un tad es gāju maksu skolā, tur bija visādi studenti, un mēs visi gribējām būt tā kā mums tie labākie maksanieki un tie jaunākie bija, ko sauc vēlāk par abstract expressionism, bet viņi bija tādi maksanieki, kas taisīja lielas glazins, un viņi lietoja, es runāju latviešu valodu, es aizmirs, bet es nemāku izteikties īsti daudz latviešu valodu. So, es aizmirs, ka es runāju latviešu valodu. Anyway, so, un Ko es teicu? O, viņi bija tādi, kas teica, ka tā bildi ir pat par sevi, ka visu, ko tu gribi meklēt tajai bildē, ir iekšā tajai bildē. Un es to kaut kādīgi sapratu savā galvā. Un kad un kad ka visu var atrast un viņi te arī teica ka tā tā bild the painting is made out of many things you know whether you have an image and you have the paint the material and you have the flat surface and all of those are like characters in the painting that have to be taken into an understanding, like you build a picture, 
and you make it very strong. So as made in I to boot taka de coonings, mas man yut patik tapes kavinch be immigrants and as a var be a family immigrant, winch be immigrants no um, Netherlands, kato sak latvish follow. Kolut. Yeah, Netherlands, yeah. On winch adbrauts kavinch will be uh, trees and got vatship carts. On winch. Tamaxolatit <laughs> So he was very inspirational. Mēs visi gribējām būt de Kooning. Ne jau tikai tie. Un sievietes nebija tik labs. Mākslinieks arī laikā sievietes nebija pārāk labs. Un arī nebija daudz. Un arī bija tā, you know, viņas neturēja in esteem, kā tu saka. <laughs> no, 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 but tagad ir daudz sieviešu māksliniecu un, un diezgan labs dažs ir. Un, un, um, anyway, so es tā iesāku, tad es aizgāju, es dabūju tādu stipendiju uz Kaliforniju, iet skolā un, un tālāk dabūt grādu. Un man jau nevajadzēja. Es teiktu visiem neiet tālāk. Sēžiet mājā un taisiet paši bildi. Tāpēc, ka tagad, kur es esmu Ņujorkā, daudz man studenti un daži nāk pie man strādāt, viņi jau trīs un gadu vecs, un viņi izņem naudu iet skolā, un tad viņi nevar dabūt darbu. Neviens nevar dabūt darbu. Tur, ja... Un tad jāmaksā tā nauda apakaļ. <laughs> un tad jāmeklē par restorāniem un visādām vietām, kur nemaksā daudz. Un arī daudz strādā pie vecākiem māksliniekiem, tā kā es esmu. Un um, ir ļoti grūti tagad. Ir, te ir miljoniem mākslinieki. Bet Latvijā varbūt vēl nav miljoniem. So, bet tik un tā, ja tev jādara, Kaukas, un ja tev ir sirdī un galvā un visā čermenī, tad jādara. Ja jādara, tad, ja jūs gribiet to dzīvi mākslā un jums galva tikai tā iet, tad jāmēģina. So, es biju tur Kalifornijā un es biju, nu, so, es, tad sākās um, daudz cilvēku sāk, Um, daudz mākslinieki sāk uh, lietot imidžu, kā to saka? Atēlu. Ne, ne, nevis fotogrāfijas, bet atēlu, visādas. Es sauc pa imidžu, ka lieto kaut ko, ko var redzēt, tā kā tas ir krēsls, jeb drusciņ galva, jeb imidžu, instead of totally abstract. So, tas bija tā liela lieta, Un, un lielāko daļu tie bija mākslinieki no sākuma, kas bija commercial mākslinieki, tā kā Lichtenstein un Warhol, un tad arī pienāca daudz sāka. Uh, um, arī Oldenbergs, you know, Oldenbergs arī bija immigrants, un, um, un Jasper Johns, kas man ļoti patīk. Anyway, so mēs visi tā kā, un es jau mēģināju būt tāda glaznotāja, kā es nebija, lai gan es sapratu daudz pa tiem abstract painteriem. So es tā kā sāku, es vienmēr saku, kad es sāku no jauna, ka te ir, ir man audums, un te man roka, te man acis, un es to prātu gribēju atstāt kaut kur. Tanī pašā mašīnā, bet lai nebrauc. Nebraucēs, bet sēdēt varbūt aizmugurē. Prāts aizmugurē, bet acis priekšā. Un roka strādā vienu paši, jūs jau ziniet. Tie, kas ir glasnotāji, zina, ka roka ir pašā, ir prāts. So, mm, 
es sāku tikai ņemt pa vienai lietai un glaznot to vienu lietu. Es visu, ko visu savu ēdienu, ko es ēdu, man nebija, man refrigerators, kur es taisīju ēdienu, dakšas, krūzītes, televīžina sets, man bija tāds televīžina sets, visādas lietas, es visus ātri, ātri mēģināju tāpat tikai izgudrot, ko tā roka zin un ko tās acis var redzēt. Un te ir viena glazna tur iekšā, kā ir tā lampa, un es arī negribēju kampols, es negribēju taisīt tādu bildi, tev arī ir galts, tur ir tas, tas. Es tik gribēju vienu lietu bez tā kā vienu, vienu, vienu. So anyway, un es to pašu laiku, es tā kā, es biju pirmo reizi bez mamma un papa, man jau bija 22 gadu vecs, tas ir, varbūt tas tagad nav tā, bet tas, mēs vairāk gājām prom, ka bija 18 gadu, bet man jau bija 22, 23, es biju viena pati, Es nevienu nepazinu, tad es iepazinos, ka Latvieši tur bija Ubāns, Māras Ubāns bija, kas dzīvoja Kalifornijā, viņi dzirdēja, ka te ir viena Latvieši jauna sieviete, kas nāca UCLA universitātē, un viņi man tā kā kādreiz aicināja, un es iepazinos, bet es biju diezgan vientoļi, es tā kā sāku, domāt par savu dzīvi, kad es gribu to mākslu tuvāk, nevis vēl, ko es redzu, bet kas es esmu. So, es jau sāku lasīt tādas bildītes, tāpēc, ka es, I actually ran out of things to paint. I painted every damn thing. I had an empty studio, you know, I had a hot plate, nothing much. I painted everything. I painted my cat. I had a cat, my Sartre cat, Uziel's Alberts. And as we say, on a sāku meklēt bildītēs citus subjects. You know, I tried to find other subjects. And my subjects for about two years gravitated toward war images. Now, why? I don't know. Maybe because I went through a little bit of the war, the end of the war in Germany, when the Americans were bombing. Maybe because there was war everywhere. The Vietnam War was on TV every night the first time, you know. Un es sāku tās bildītes, un tās bildītes ar bija tikai viena lieta, tā kā viena lidmašīna. Es nezinu, man patika, ka man tur nebija jāņemās uz to pusi, uz to, tur augšā lejā, you know, composition. I thought that was really old fashion. Un es sāku zīmēt, nu, zīmēt tās, tās, The new images, man bija kaudzīts, es kādreiz bibliotekā izņēmu, vai nav kauns. No, es iegāju mazā mājiņā un izņēmu, nu jūs viss tagad ziniet, un izvilku to bildīt, bet tāds grāmats, kur neviens nebija attaisījis viņas gadiem, un arī magazīnos, un So, es sāku, es sāku pa priekšu ņemt tā kā that would be my subject matter. Un to mums te nav laikam neviena, kur man ir, kas ir clippings, kā es saku. Nu, vēstuli savā ziņā to var uzskatīt. Ko lūdz? Vēstuli savā ziņā. Tikai vēstuli. Un ne vēstuli, vēstuli, ne vēstuli. Man mamma rakstīja un es... 
es, kad es viss sāku zīmēt un taisīt tās glazins, tad es arī tā to vēstuli, un tā vēstuli šeit ir. Un tā vēstulē es jau sāku, man jau sāku interesēt tādi dūmi no kara, un arī kara ierauči. Es nezinu, nu, vienkārši. Klipings vēl ir mūna. Kurš klipings mūna? Mūna mums ir. O, jā, jā, tas klipings arī ir. Un tad man otra interesi bija, kad sāka sūtīt atpakaļ no no outer space, visas tās information that made the photographs, you know, I think it's all digital, that made the photographs, hey, uh, uh, that um, uh, started appearing in newspapers from the moon, Luna 9, Luna 9 is over there, made by the Soviets, you know, the first shot to the moon, Izskatās tā kā tāda kartafēļa putra varbūt. Man ļoti, man ļoti patīk tāds, tā kā es domāju, ka es tad varēju visu kuru glaznot. So, tā tas viss iesākās. Tad tur ir tādi daži darbi, bet man ir daudz darbi no tā laika, bet viņi viss ir pa pasauli izknibināti. Un mēs tos varējām dabūt. So, un arī tādī laikā, tāpēc, ka visas tās bildītas bija pelēkas, un nebija daudz magazīnos arī ar krāsām, nebija. Es sāku, es tā kā iemīlējos tā pelēkā, lai gan es to pelēko vienmēr iztais ar visādām krāsām. Es tā kā... Es domāju, ka jūs skatāties uz to lidmašīnu, jūs redzēsiet, ka tas ir tāds iemīlēts pelēkums. Un tad, un tad es kā divu gadu tur ņēmos, es iztaisīju arī kādas skulptūras, un tad es domāju, ka Kalifornijā tas likās tik jocīgi, tā kā es būtu karu atvedis uz Kaliforniju. Cilvēki nezināja, ko domāt. Man bija izstādi. Man bija daži tie darbi vēl skolā bija izdarīti. Un man bija izstādi un viss. Un es pārdevu kādus par ļoti maz naudu. Un tad es visu to pametu. Es domāju arī, ka man nepatīk. I didn't like I didn't like that I was considering the surface on which I was painting, which of course was flat. I didn't like that I was putting something in that surface in an illusionistic way. So, you know, like it has a background and a foreground. So I dropped the whole thing. Un tad es kād seš mēneš tur staigāju apkārt ar garu seju un domāju, es nezināju, ko es darīšu. Es pamēģināju tādu glezinu, ko jūs redziet tur, kur ir tāds uguns, bet man likās, ka tas ir too sensational priekš tādu mazu. Nu, un tad visādas lietas notik tur. Viena pēc otra man bija visādas idejas, bet jūs ziniet, ka es viņus viss nevaru pārskaitīt tev. So, tad es sāku. Bet man jau ir kaut kādu filmu, un arī man liekas katalogi ir diezgan labi, kur Elits sarakstīja drusciņu to vēsturu, kā iet. So, jūs varēt palasīt. So, kādreiz ap tiem gadiem 65, 66, 64, 68, es kādreiz taisīju tādu three-dimensional, nu, tā kā mēs sakam skulptūru, bet viņas ir īsti visas, they're all paintings, but they're three-dimensional things. Un es taisīju savu zīmuli, tāpēc, ka es vienmēr zīmēju, un gumīju, lai var izņemt ārā, un tad es visādas, Lietas, es 
you know, the two-dimensional plane is so, you know, so severe and so abstract, really, that when you're working with it all the time, I sometimes get a headache, you know, it's too much. I always consider everything. So I started doing some uh, three-dimensional things, which you will see, and then I kept it up the rest of my life. This is a three-dimensional piece I did in maybe 1977. So my interest, then I dropped the whole thing of painting objects. And even though I made objects a little bit later for about the next 10 years, I used the pencil only. Spiest, you know, I have to push it. Katu sakad, you know, you ask a lot of the pencil. Yeda būt vairāk iekšā. Yeda būt vairāk iekšā, un viss, ko tas zīmuls var. So, šitas, šitā ir viena, es gan visu saku glazni, tāpēc, ka es nelietoju līnī daudz, bet mani mēs Un šitais ir tikai viens zīmuls. This is, well, varbūt šitas ir otrs. Šitas ir varbūt maybe F, man ļoti F patikās. Un šitas ir varbūt B, maybe HB. Jūs ziniet, ka zīmuļi ir iet, un man pavisam miks nepatīk. But Es sāku ņemt tās bildes, un es pārliku, es tā domāju, ka es pārliku citā dzīvē viņas. Labākā dzīvē, kā fotogrāfija. Man fotogrāfijas neinteresē, kā māksla tik daudz. Man interesē, kā viņas jūtās. Un es sāku tikai to darīt, un nekā īstenībā citu, bet es viņus mēģinu iztaisīt, lai viņas ir tādas īstas, īstā pie sienas, tā kā būt īstas. Es grūti, redz, ka runā pa māksu, domā, ka idiots drusci. Tas ir runā tā, you know, ir grūti. Ja runā, tad neizklausās tik labi. But ja skatās, tad ir a kind of a deeper experience, you know, I hope. Viss mūžas es ņemos ar šitiem, jau tagad ir varbūt piesin gadu. So, es sāku, es dzīvoju pie jūras, un es sāku ņemt to jūru un likt tā kā tā jūra būt iekšā istabā stiprāka, kā tev ir galvā atmiņā. If you can imagine that. Tāpēc, ka es viņu tā kā documentary, it's like, many of these works are sort of like a document, a documentation of the surface taken from one surface and put on another surface and balanced so that it appears really the right thing to do. Un mums ir tāda vēstura Amerikas mākslā, kur tādas lietas, es jau nebija vienākā, kas ir vienākā, kas to darīja. So, lielāko daļu te ir tā paša ideja in various, you know, various different states. And sometimes, um, Sometimes, well, the, uh, you know, at a certain point, man be vien build un es, vien build un es, un es, es strādāju no vienu uz otru, uz vienu uz otru, un tad es, man tā kā ienāc, man nebija ideja, bet tā kā viens man grūda uz to pusi, lai es sāku likt divas kopā, divas, kas neiet varbūt kopā. 
So you select a the print, the print, the print, man, print neviens nedarī prints uh, Amerikā daudz vairāk Eiropā, bet uh, viņi iesāk pēdējos 50 gados un tad viņi aicināja mākslinieks, lai viņi taistos prints un bija tāds labas preses un labi, uh, you know, what are you? Meistari. Jā, meistari. Un, um, un es, es izpētīju un šitie ir tādi pētījumi par, par kā taisīt visādi sprints un um, visādi tehnīku. Un kādreiz ir tāda vecmodīga tehnīka, es gribēju, kā justies tā darīt. So the technique became also, this, my work like this has no technique really. You know, man nav style or technique or um, a decorative part to the work. My work is very mm, deadpan kind of documentary. So I have, I think you will see then nota zimu es sāk tas melnās taisīt. Un man ļoti patīk to. Un te ir viena, kas ir uz to sienu tāda, tu izskatās tā kā, mm, izskatās tā kā, what does it look like? Tā kā sniegs gandrīz, kur es nesacik ilgi tikai ar zīmu. Es nekad nekā citu nelietu. Tikai ar zīmu es mocījos. Un tad es beigās domāju, ok, nu man makal jātais glezens. So es sāku tās glezens taisīt kādā atkal. Es kādu 15 gadu netā, tikai ar zīmu taisīt savus darbus. Un tad... Um, Es atkal sāku glezinot, tāpēc, ka tā glezina, tas tā eja var turēt vairāk space. <laughs> es nemāks space teikt latviešu valodā. Bet vai jūs tā runājiet pa mākslu? Space? Telpa? Ok. So the, the painting space is just has more possibility. So, man palik tā, ka tā lielākā, ja ir kāda ideja, tur nav daudz idejas man, bet ja ir, tad ir tāda mm, image, there is an image that implies a lot of space and a lot of dimension, and the reality is a very flat reality. And those two are always sort of talking to each other. When you look at the work, if you look at it, let it do that. You know, your mind wants the space, your reality wants the, the shallowness. And I try to find a, a relationship between them. And then this is a more complicated thing. Don't think about it, just look at it. One eye for one, one for the other. Oh, uh, no, what else? And then all, all through the time, every now and then, I try to do an object because it's such a relief not to be painting. You know, it's like a freedom to do something that's dimensional. So now all of my objects are just in dimension. In the last, I'm almost through, in the last maybe... Ten, six, seven, eight, ten years, I got interested in just the painting itself. So I left, I left the found image, you know, which I didn't do at the beginning. I left the image I found with my painted image, which is in a slightly different context. I left them together. So you can see what fun I had painting. <laughs> or you can just see that that's what the work is about. Kavienc cilvēks un jūs, ja jūs skatāties, varēt redzēt, kur ir ielikt katra. Un šitas darbs ir tāds, un arī tās tabletes, un arī 
Oh, es vienreiz man, kad es visu tās mantas glaznoju, tad es arī viens man iedev revolveru, un es, es man draugs turēt, mēs es nekad nebija šāvus, un es tā kā iedomājos, ka tur būs daudz dūma, tā kā bērns, you know, tas ir tāds bērnes šķidē laikam. Anyway, un tad es vēlāk, 40 gadu vēlāk es atradu to uh, vienā kastītē, to um, revolveru, un es iztaisīju vēl vienreiz bronzā. Un viss šitie darbi arī ir, viens ir atrasts, un otrs ir bronz. Uh, it's a, like a little joke that I'm putting it into the art world, you know, where bronze is a big traditional method of making, but it's hidden by the painting. But you know when you hold it. And what else? So there are some kind of interesting prints. I like that print I found. Uh, that print on this wall over there in that room is an old map I found, and I remade it with the frame and everything, so it's an object and a print at the same time. A very difficult thing to do with many different plates to show the age and so forth. So, you know, part of the work has been, oh, part of the work has been um, thinking, overthinking, play, and I hope you can find a little bit of uh, all of those things yourself in the work. So, you know, ask me some questions if you would like. No? Oh, nē, es cilvēks nevar. Tāpēc, ka man cilvēkiem ir pa daudz uh, other reality. Ja es taisītu cilvēks, tad jūs uh, nemaz neskatītos uz to bildi. Jūs skatāties uz to cilvēku un tam cilvēki psiholoģiju tur un kā tas deguns iet un tās acis un ko tā muti dar. Un that's too much information for me in a painting. I do not like that. I like the painting to live in the space where we are in a more anonymous way, but in a more... It has a relationship that is different. You don't have to uh, poke around in the painting and see, see other things that are... No. No, 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 I don't like alive things, and I also don't like many, many things. So you can see that I have pretty much one image that I manipulate and really make <coughs> a work out of. I don't really compose different things in one painting. I'm not interested in that part of painting at all. But uh, you can be interested in it. You make something of it. It's a more traditional way of painting, you know. So I gave it up, and that's it. I don't know if you understood that or not, probably. Okay, so what? Varbūt varētu vēl pastāstīt. Kalifornijas periods tev bija līdz 80. gadam, un pēc tam sekoja pārcelšanās uz New York par šo. Okay, es pārceļos... Es biju Kalifornijā, uh, un tad es, uh, man tur bija visa dzīve, visādi, un tad es pārcēlos uz New York, tāpēc, ka man likās, ka man nebija, uh, nevar šodien teikt, enough audience, you know, for the work. And I was wanted to, um, I wanted to compete with maybe more painters. There weren't that many painters in California. There were some weird people in California. And there were some wonderful people, which, you know, there were people that went into light pieces like Terrell and Doug Wheeler and Maria Nordman. And then there were piece, people that did fetishy plastic things. I didn't go that way. And I thought I would come to New York uh, because I thought the audience would be 
mm, more robust and I would have more criticism and more, I was probably, you would call it ambition. And then the other one was because I, is gribe taka ista ka pilsata dzivot. Es nezin, vai jūs esat bijuši Kalifornijā, bet viņi ir krāsas un tāda citāda zemē ir. Un es tā kā atgriezos apakaļ uz tādu vairāk ziemalīgu lielu pilsētu. Un man tā pilsēta patīk. Tagad es tagad drusciņ pa daudz tur trafiku un viss. Un es eju laukos tagad, bet daudz, bet man patika, bet kamēr, kad es aizgāju apakaļ, es jau biju kādi 43 gadu veca, un neviens vairs pa mākslu nerunāja, visiem bija mājas un bērni un visādi divorses un their, you know, their lives. Es domāju, ka mēs vairāk runasim pa mākslu, bet neviens viņi runāja par real estate, you know, because that's what everybody was doing then, trying to buy their studio so they would not be allowed left in the street. Nu, es jums visu, ko es stāstu, kas man ir galvā, vai nav... Anyway, so jūs saprotiet drusciņ, kā man gāja, Un tad es sāku tikai naudu taisīt, tā kā es varētu dzīvot. Es jau mācīju skolu, nes cik ilgi, un devu visādas lekcijas un tā. Es sāku to naudu taisīt, varbūt, kad es biju kādi 45 gadu vecu, es pārdevu diezgan samaksāt renti pa visam. Man bija visādas stipendijas un devu naudas visādas, Un, bet, un tad, 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 tad gāju uz labo pusi, nu, tad sāk pa mazam, bet es jau neesmu tāda, you know, I'm a pretty basic, modest, really, painter, not a, not a, I don't know, but I'm, I've had a lot of uh, fans all over the world. It's not in common. Yes, but the Bivian's drugs is James Lingwood, Kasatnats, Prekshat Klashan, Kasiedev, Mam Pirmo, Pirmo, Pirmo Istad Europa, be London and be Madrid and Frankfurt and Winter Tour. And that. Man pirms tam bija jau Whitney Museum un California Museum, then man, so, man beigās iznāca, ka man diezgan daudz bija tās izstādes. Un, so, that's the story. Mums ir jautājums vēl viens. Es nesaprotu. That in 1992, in the magazine Parkett, You, oh, Parker, you yeah. defined your strategy as maybe mm, that you are doing not ambitious art. Uh, and, not ambitious? Uh, yeah, and uh, after that uh, proposal maybe was... Uh, yes, yeah. and there were a lot of speculations after that, that uh, what exactly did you mean saying that? I'm not ambitious? Yeah. Yes. Oh, because, you know, I'm not making big gestures, really. But I don't know. I now have some people thinking about the art in different ways that might be a little bit more ambitious than it was before. I don't know. You know, I just say what comes in my head at the time. So sometimes, you know, I have different feelings about my own self. I don't know. I try not to reflect so much on it. They probably forced me to say something. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty ambitious for my art, 
But I don't know whether my art is ambitious in the way that you would say somebody who makes an extreme gesture, like maybe who, you know, like Andy Warhol maybe, who, who had other people make his art and who, oh, I don't know, you know, who, I don't know. I think I have been, uh, I make mostly pretty modest gestures. And I have been, you know, concentrating my work down to a small size, which some people think is unambitious, but not me, really. Um, I don't know what I have to say about that. That was a difficult question, too. <laughs> and you saw the parquet. That was a long time ago. You know, they, when you make something and you have all these people driving you, the magazines and everything, they want more all the time and new, more new, same thing. Oh, I'm um, family. We must talk to. We must to a pastais. So bad. We never practiced, but we, but we, we didn't be prieks that it's very difficult, but, but that it's very so difficult. You know, it's very. I could survive on my art was a big thing, and it is a big thing, especially now. But you see, I had the, uh, I mean, I did have the ambition to always chase my work, to always push and chase my work, even if I say it was modest. It's continually in me to do that. Now, I don't really know why, but I fell into that world. It's like my world, and I can, I live in it. So other people have begun to notice, you know, the dimensions of that world, and they have to define it. Just like you have to look at the work and see what you see. You don't have to see any big thing in it, you know, but. You make the work further, you know. I do my part, and then everybody else does whatever they can, and sometimes the work disappears, as we all know. And sometimes it stays in your memory or in a museum or something. So, you know, it's out of my hands, really. Out of every artist's hands, not just mine, of course, that the work lives you know, some, and it needs to be excavated. You know, the, if there is any meaning, which I think there's very little meaning in art, but if there is any meaning, you have to feel it. Sometimes people think the work is beautiful, but I never think about beauty. Sometimes, you know, they think it's, conservative, ugly work. I don't know what they think. But you have to excavate. The work is there, so you know, you have to find your relationship to it. It's just the nature of the thing, right? Yeah. Marina Golden, I have a question. From all the colors of, uh, Calif all the what? Colors of California, you chose gray. Yeah, it's one one question. Another question: Who from American artists, or you can name, who influenced your art? As you say. Well, very early, I think I was influenced by a bunch of people. I was influenced by De Kooning, like I said, because he showed me that the painting is about itself. I was influenced for a while by Magritte because he also played with the idea of what was reality and what was painted. He was not a great painter, but he was a great poet, 
Magritte, René Magritte. I made a poem in homage to him. I was influenced by a guy named Bob Gober, who was a really fantastic, he's about 55 years old now, who's an object maker, and he's a political artist, a gay artist who's very political, and I'm not, my work is not political, even though the gun might be political, but it doesn't have to be. And um, I was also influenced early by Jasper John's beautiful gray paintings and his use of objects, although he's an assembler and I decided not to assemble. Who else have I been influenced by? Huh? Oh, maybe Mirandi very early, because uh, uh, after I started making objects, I saw a show of Mirandi in New York City, and the paintings were very small, and they were, they carried a long distance. And um, I thought, wow, a small painting and so strong. So there are some influences there. And probably the all over surface is from, you know, from Pollock and de Kooning and the people that uh, made all of the strokes be part of one painting and the image was the painting and the painting was the image that together. And my work is very much like that. Like it's very hard to take the image away from that space that I have made. Huh? Artists always need somebody's uh, emotional, uh, psychological support. What, what I don't know. I, I always looked at art like it was a whole world for me. I have a lot of energy myself, and I'm, um, I never had a really good teacher, I don't think. I had teachers that liked me a lot, but I don't know whether I ever had a, a person I could say, aside from these artists that I myself and the other students liked, I don't think I ever had a really great teacher. I had teachers that became like my parents. You know, they accepted that this was something this girl could do. But when my parents had no knowledge of this at all, uh, but I don't think I had any great like Albers would be a great teacher that people had at Yale and maybe Hans Hoffman. I tried to paint like Hans Hoffman for about two weeks. And, um, you know, I don't think I really... It's, I'll tell you one thing. I was in an atmosphere where there were a lot of ambitious people my age. We were all trying to do the best we could. And that was a big sense of energy. And maybe one of the reasons I moved to New York was because there was a bigger pool of artists that were really strong and good that I admired. So that's one of the reasons. Did you meet Soul Lloyd Pardon? Did you meet Soul Lloyd? Pardon? Did you meet Soul Lloyd? Soul Lloyd? Oh, Solowit, I have met Solowit, a wonderful person. And I liked him. You know, well, he was really an abstract uh, uh, geometry guy. He was a wonderful person. Yes, I, I liked him. So we had a sort of mutual admiration, you know, between the artists. We would like one and another, and you gain a kind of respect and so forth. And that's why you might want to go to Berlin or London or New York or something if you can't find enough of that energy here and you can do it. People used to go from Romania, what did they do? Uh, walk to per Paris. You know, people went to Paris at the turn of the century. Nobody goes to Paris anymore, you know, but they do go to other places where there's a lot of energy for the art. So they don't feel so alone. Man ir viens jautājums, vai jums ir kaut kādas uh, uh, inspirācijas no mūzikas? 
kaut kas jūs iespaido? Man nav daudz inspirācija no muzikas, bet es kādri es domāju, ka cilvēki prasa, what does it mean, what does it mean, does it mean anything? I say, well, what does the symphony mean, what does Mozart mean? It's like, you know, the art really is kind of abstract when it's good, and you have to find a relationship to it, but it's not exactly like reading a book or an article about the war somewhere, you know? It's, it's about itself, just like music is, but it's visual, no sound. In my work, other people have some sound. I like, I like classical music mostly, and I like jazz, and I like world music, and, mm, but I wouldn't say, like you said, you were a fan of the Beatles. <laughs> I used to go to school and sing, I want to hold your hand. <laughs> that song, Kavinyesak, you know, Kavinyesak, Dziedath, un mēs vis bijām traki, pēc Beatles. Un mēs dziedājām, gāju uz skolu un dziedājām. <laughs> but I don't know. I would not say that I'm, my work is influenced by... I sort of like Gorecki, because he goes... Mm -hmm. Maybe some of my work is like that. <laughs> anyway... You know, we, I have had the privilege to have the freedom to chase my own ideas and to chase my own work. And I come from a poor family of immigrants. And um, I would like to encourage you, if you have it in you, that you uh, can do all that also, you know, is have to stick in there. That's it. I can't talk anymore. Call the Svia. Thank you. It was wonderful.